That was a fail. What is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for being here today. It is a beautiful sunny day here in North Carolina. And I wanted to make a quick announcement about a, a change we're gonna be making on these videos in the way that we do our giveaways. So, you're gonna wanna like the video, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, turn on post notifications so you get an alert every time I release a video. Because what I'm gonna be doing from now moving forward is picking those who comment within the first 30 minutes of the videos being released. So if you turn on the notification, you will get a notification right away, and then you can come to the video, see if there's a giveaway, put your comment down below, and that will go through within the first 30 minutes and pick the winner. So today's giveaway is any P Science product that you like. All you have to do is comment down below one thing that you hope to accomplish in 2021. And that is how we are gonna be doing the giveaways. And also be on the lookout for when I actually respond. So if you're the winner, you're gonna have to send me an email. So just keep your eyes on the channel. What do you think? You think they should just like the videos? Mm -hmm. Why would they not like the video? I mean, look how cute Alfie is. Alfie wants you to like the videos. And today you're in for an amazing, amazing video. We're gonna do a full day of eating. I'm gonna track all my macro nutrients and we're gonna be talking about should you actually count your calories count your macros or is it actually counterproductive so we're gonna find out in today's video first stop of the day is going to be Dunkin Donuts if you didn't know America runs on Dunkin because we sure as hell don't run on the treadmill you gonna get some donuts no Megan's not about that donut life Megan mm -hmm. is in full swing for 2021. I'm trying. She's achieving her goal. She's getting that wedding bod. I'm bulking up for the wedding. I'm trying to get to like 280. Hey, ring bearer, what are you doing for the wedding? Huh? <laughs> so I've had this craving for like three weeks that I figured I at least need to get out of my system. And I don't even know if they're gonna have it. They had a confetti cake donut, which sounds incredible. And donuts from Dunkin' actually only have between like 190 to 290 calories, give or take a few. So not the best, right? But not terrible. So I figured it's Sunday. We might as well uh, try to knock it out. Uh, do you guys have the confetti cake donut? Yes, we do. I'll take one confetti cake donut, one glazed donut. You know what? Okay, anything else? and a medium cold brew with no ice. So for my OGs, one of the major life hacks I have for you is to get a cold brew with no ice, because then you get more coffee for less money. It's genius, and then I'll show you a little trick to make it even better. But again, my OGs are already gonna know. Thank you. Uh, you too, appreciate it. I've got my donuts, my friends. And now, since I got what I wanted, we get to go to get Megan her favorites, which I'm sure you already know where we're headed. If you guys watched my video a few weeks ago from the lowest calorie options on the menu, these egg white bites from Starbucks are absolutely incredible. The only downside is they are expensive, like $5, but they're delicious and very low in calories. So that's what Megan got. Over here you can see I got one of my other favorites, which is the reduced fat turkey bacon sandwich. Starbucks really does have some great options when it comes to breakfast. So for this entire sandwich, you're looking at 18 protein, 26 carbs, five fat, 221 calories. But the best thing is, is that it tastes absolutely delicious. I actually think that this tastes better than an egg McMuffin from McDonald's. An OG, but this thing just comes together perfectly. Megan is currently educating me in wedding dresses and she told me that you don't, you want to wear the dress. You don't want the dress to wear you. Did I get it right? Yes, that's right. So you don't want the dress to wear you. My thought is, if you're paying like five grand for a stupid dress that you wear one day, I kind of want it to wear me. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I've gotta be honest, I'm a bit let down by the confetti cake donut. This is not what I expected. I might've just ordered the wrong thing. I thought it was a donut with icing on it. So I don't typically like this style of donut at all. They, they usually end up being a bit dry. So kind of bummed. I'll put maybe a picture right there if I can find what I thought I was ordering. Again, I could just be an idiot. Um, and then just a traditional glaze. It's all right, guys. A donut is a donut. I did put it in the microwave for a few seconds, so it did help soften it up a bit. And it looks a little bit better now that I'm breaking into it. Just check that out. I love confetti cake everything. So even without icing, it might be all right. It almost has like a, a lemon zest taste to it. But surprisingly, delicious. Typically nothing I would like. My favorite donut is the sprinkled. But wow, Duncan nailed this donut. It's right around 250 calories. So for a little donut, that's quite a lot. But for a nice treat, all right, Duncan. So I saw something online the other day that really resonated with me and I wish I could remember where I saw it so I could give them proper credit. But they said the two most important things they did throughout the nutrition journey, the first was to start counting their macros and the second was to stop counting their macros. And I think that that is so true. And I believe everyone should at least try it initially because there's no other way you're really gonna be able to gauge what it is you're putting in your body without counting pretty meticulously. And we've all been there, you know, we'll go through and we'll probably under, we'll probably figure out that we're eating a lot less or a lot more than we actually thought we were. But I feel like most people's objectives should be to stop tracking their calories every single day. I just don't think that it's very sustainable. And you'll see a lot of people that used to track their macronutrients, you know, two, three years ago are now at a point in their life where they don't have to do that. And it's a very freeing and liberating feeling. I can tell you from experience, because if you try to track that every single day of your life, it's going to cause a lot of stress. It's going to be counterproductive in that it probably will do more harm than good in the long run because you will get to a point where even if you're not entering it into my fitness pal or avatar nutrition or whatever app you're using you're gonna have a rough tally in the back of your mind and if you really need to get dialed in you can go back to doing it but you'll notice that it will become a lot easier and you'll also notice that there will be a lot of things that you had to stress about earlier on that don't necessarily need to be worried about um, once you figure it out if that makes any sense so my recommendation to everyone watching this video if you're in that place where you've been tracking for a while and it's really not it's it's not jiving with you. You're just like, I want to be able to just eat when my body is hungry. Then I would challenge you, try it out for a week, monitor your body weight, see what happens. You might actually make more progress because your body is going to lower its cortisol levels. And without that extra stress, it might actually do you some good. And the other thing I like about not tracking is that I feel that it will almost force you to eat better food choices. For example, when I'm tracking my macros, like today, I can eat a donut, right? Because I can fit it within my macronutrients. But when you're not tracking, you're not really gonna have that accurate of a count. So you might opt for, you know, choosing a banana over a donut because you're, we all have, you know, very similar goals in that we wanna look good and feel good. So I feel by default, not tracking might actually lead to better food choices. So Megan and I are very similar in that we used to track pretty meticulously and nowadays we don't really track much at all. I do maybe like once a week just to make sure that I'm getting enough food uh, to keep up with all the gains I've been making. But what do you think about tracking at this point in your life? It's tiring, it's stressful. Yeah, Megan is definitely someone that does better by not tracking yeah. because tracking stresses her out. So I noticed that when we were trying to track everything this time last year, it wasn't jiving with you. But mm -hmm. the second that she stopped, it all just became a lot more natural and she makes very healthy food choices. And Megan is crushing it. Today is day <laughs> 50. Peloton, her 50th Peloton ride. I'm telling you, she came into 2021 taking no prisoners, just crushing it. I'm so proud of her. Now, as I mentioned, my OGs will remember this from my Cincinnati days. You get the cold brew with no ice because we want to maximize the amount of caffeine we get and minimize the amount of money we spend. Of course, that's like the concept of life. And then I'm going to add in my Pea Science Select Cafe, which is going to give me 20 grams of protein. Well, I went a little bit light on that scoop, but a full scoop is 20 grams of protein, 100 milligrams of caffeine. You're going to mix it in here just like this. And you get a lot of questions about people that say, how do you mix it in? I just, literally, I just, I just mix it just like that. And then, oh gosh, it tastes so good. I'm going to be freaking stimmed out of my mind after I finish this. 
my favorite feeling in the world. We've got Jay-Z in the speakers. We've got a bunch of caffeine in our system. That can only mean one thing. We're gonna be testing our lifts today, at least my bench press. I'm on week 10 of Jeff Nippert's power building program, and it's finally come to this day that I've been waiting on to see how much progress I've actually made. I'm gonna be doing an entire video review on the program and the progress, but for all of you loyal people that watch all of my videos, and if that's you, let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a sneak peek. We're gonna be working on 290 pounds, 275 pounds, I was mistaken, uh, but we're gonna be doing as many reps as possible here. I feel like I've got at least two to three in me for sure. All right, let's go. One, two, three. and 75 pounds for five reps. I'm very, very pleased with that. I think I'm actually messing around, making some gains. What do you guys think? Who would have thought? But I did want to address a comment I got on today's video where I went and tried all the lowest calorie items on the menu. And let's just call her Cheryl. Cheryl was very upset with me because she saw multiple advertisements in that video. Now you guys know, I tend to plug some brands that I like and I use on a daily basis. But this really upset Cheryl, and Cheryl was not happy with me. So I just want to talk about that for a few seconds. Now, on average, consumers see between six to 10,000 advertisements per day, and I might have made up three of those, and she did not like that very much. Now, it's not like I spend hours of my day, or my weekends specifically, making free content for the YouTube and pay you know someone thousands of dollars every year to edit my videos, and you know that doesn't happen, obviously. And it's not like Cuts produces you know the softest, best clothing in the entire world that I love and I wear on a daily basis, or Built Bars makes uh, you know amazing protein bars that you can use Travis to say 15%. It's not like any of that is true. But Cheryl was just very upset about it and maybe it's because she's in her parents' basement and she only sees maybe 3,000 advertisements a day because she doesn't get out much. But the weird thing that I, I find this very strange, um, when I talk about like Dunkin' Donuts or, co or coffee from Starbucks that I love, nobody gets upset. It's just when I actually make commission off of what I'm talking about. So I want you to ask yourself, Cheryl, does that say more about you or more about me? But anyway, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Back to the actual content of the video. That was a long rant. I gotta get some post-workout nutrition. And you know what? Just for Cheryl's sake, I am gonna be trying one of these built bars. And you can use Travis to say 15% on these. This is coconut almond. I'm really hoping this tastes like an almond joy. I can't remember if I've had this. I don't remember if I have, but let's give it a taste test. I don't know why almond joy was always one of my favorite chocolates. I think it's because my dad always had it in our candy drawer, is what I called it. So let's see. Alfie's down here thinking he's gonna get a bite. I'm sorry, you cannot have this, little man. Let's just break this open so y'all can see that consistency. This is my favorite part about the bars. All right. This legitimately tastes like an Almond Joy. That is no cap, as the kids would say, or no toboggan, or no sombrero, or whatever it is you wanna call it. This tastes like an Almond Joy, and it's fantastic. So nothing too crazy post-workout, just having a little bit of food here. Got a bagel with one Vital Farms egg and Alfie's excited because he knows he can have some of this. So that's gonna be it. Nothing too elaborate, but tastes delicious. Has a good amount of carbs, a little bit of protein, a little bit of fat. Not bad for a post-workout considering I did have that protein bar already. Mm. <laughs> Fail. Cut. Sometimes you just gotta leave the outtakes in there. And I am not a yolk kind of person. I try to cook the yolk completely. I know some of you weirdos out there like that runny stuff though, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Okay, so the macronutrients for all of that are gonna be 32 protein, 71 carb, nine fat, 493 calories, including the protein bar. 
So pretty good. And this is Avatar Nutrition for all of you that have been asking me. I know it looks really cool and also you can like check in. So it's actually got coaching built into this app. It's on the app store, but I do believe there is a monthly fee for it. However, it is my preferred method when I am tracking. Again, I don't track very often, uh, really kind of just to reestablish my baselines uh, whenever that time comes. So you'll notice I haven't eaten a whole lot of food today. That's because I know I'm gonna be having a large dinner. And so a lot of this will come down to, I don't wanna say common sense, but maybe just like thinking ahead. Um, it's almost like think about your financials, right? You have only have so much money in the bank that you can spend. So if you spend all of your money early in the day, you're not gonna be able to spend it later. So if you're gonna buy a house, you might not wanna buy a new car that same year unless you're an idiot like me and you buy two cars in the same year that we also bought a house. Ah, uh, Megan. What are we doing? What are we doing over here? But anyway, that's kind of besides the point. So I am saving up some uh, calories and macronutrients for our wonderful dinner tonight. It's gonna be so good. I'm pumped for it. Little man is really mad at me because there's no more snacks. Buddy, I gave you a lot of my food. And that's the thing, if you're counting calories and you think you're on the money, one, uh, nutrition labels aren't that accurate. Two, what if you give food to your dog? I mean, he gets 15% of my food usually. So I would say uh, just kind of get in the ballpark, you know? All right, guys, so we picked these up at Target, just some marketing. We got the Brookie Oreos. Hmm. One's already missing from the pack. Don't know how that happened. Anyway, we're gonna give you guys the official taste test. I eat Oreos one way and one way only. So, oh, this one's not gonna be a clean break. No, okay, you can. So usually I'll just throw that side away or give it to somebody. But take a look at this. This might not actually be marketing. This is such a solid Oreo. In fact, this might be the best Oreo of all time. Usually I don't buy into the hype. Usually they're not that good and they never taste like what they actually say on the package. But this is almost like a, not a double stuffed, I would say like a one and a half stuffed. But wow, 9.876 out of 10. Unbelievable. <laughs> buddy, don't make me feel bad. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, buddy. Okay, go see your mom. Go see your mama. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be right back with a snack, okay? I love you. I have been looking forward to this all day. One of Megan and I's favorite restaurants of all time that we have found, it's called Osha. Kind of an interesting name, but it's a Thai food. A Thai, it's a Thai food. It's a Thai restaurant that serves amazing food. Did you hear me? I told you I'd be back. I told you I'd be back. Now allow me to introduce you to Osha. This is the cashew chicken, which I'm telling you is one of the greatest things I've ever had in my entire life. Got some steamed white rice. They'll be adding to that. Got a spicy tuna roll. Their sushi is phenomenal. And then we have some gyoza, which is French for heaven in your mouth. This is unbelievable. I didn't know what it was, but Megan convinced me to try it. And I'm telling you, it's probably as close to a 10 as you're gonna get, like a 9.96247 out of 10. Rich homie Greg, you wanna flash back to when we took you there, when you came to visit? You know the restaurant is special when you take visitors there. And that's when you, cause you know you're always trying to make a good impression for people, um, especially when you're known for being a bit of a foodie. So OSHA, I'm telling you, I wanna get a sponsorship there, that's for sure. Am I allowed to talk about OSHA or are people gonna get, nah, they don't pay me so I can talk about OSHA. But I can't talk about this awesome sweatshirt. I don't understand the internet, but just check this out. I mean, this is a lot of food. I prefer to just have like one big meal at the end of the day that I'm looking forward to. Mmm, hallelujah. Megan got me one of these bubbly things. She loves these. I drink them every now and again. Very good. Lime, definitely the best flavor. You can tell just fresh sushi. This is heaven, absolute heaven. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that that meal was 60 grams of protein, 175 carbs, and 55 grams of fat for 1,435 calories, and I'm just using kind of my best judgment there. And that is the one thing, if everyone wants to you know, track your macros and your calories to, calories to a T, you're not gonna be able to go out and enjoy all of these nice local places where that information isn't readily available. Or even if it is, like Chipotle, it's just, they're just lying. I mean, you know that your bowl is not the same bowl that's on the internet, right? So it, it just kind of makes me laugh when people try to get things to a T or so they think. And even if you're wrong, you're never gonna know it. So don't worry too much about it. I think just having that experience up front is going to allow you to make these knowledgeable guesstimates, if you will, if you do wanna try something new. And I, 
Tell you that one thing, that was worth every calorie. Speaking of foods that no one really knows what the macronutrient count is, Fat and Weird Cookies, which you guys know I enjoy every single Sunday. This is the Double D, which is incredible. And this one actually has a little backstory to it. It's called Show Me Your Bloobs. This is the first Fat and Weird Megan and I ever shared together. I was visiting her in Raleigh for the first time, I think. First time we were going to a John Bellion concert and uh, we shared that cookie. It was delicious. That's when she fell in love with me because I brought cookies. That's right. You guys know I gotta get shots for the gram. Make sure you're following me if you're not. Come on, you get real time updates? I'm just like, uh, I'm just Picasso with the cookie pictures over here, you know? So I'm gonna give you guys a taste test of the show me your bloobs here. I don't love fruity things, but that is a great cookie. I'm only gonna rank it a 7.942 out of 10 because again, fruity, just not my thing. But for what it is, I highly recommend it if that is your thing. This guy right here, the Double D, I've had so many of these lately. I'm gonna give this a 9.42 out of 10. I love this thing. Mm, and it's safe to say that I am stuffed. So with those rough estimates, that dinner is going to be putting me at 200 or 2,443 calories, 72 protein, 325 carb, and 95 fat, which was the bulk of my day for sure. Totals for the day. 3,517 calories, 150 protein, 457 carbs, 121 grams of fat. That's some good eating, boys and girls, and that is not going to be every day. Uh, 3,500 calories would be well above, I would say 700 calories above my maintenance. But on Sundays, you guys know that I do like to eat big, and I wanna make this video for you guys just to show you that if you're in a state where you think that you've been counting for too long, just give it a try. What do you have to lose? I mean, worst comes to worst, you get super fat and you, you know how to take it right off, right? You know how to track your food. But I think too many people just get so obsessed and uh, they almost like manipulate themselves in a way, if that makes any sense. But let me know in your comments down below. Am I off the mark here? Or what do you guys think? I would love to know everyone's thoughts and opinions on this subject. But thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. I mean, you could have been doing anything. Anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Don't forget to turn on post notifications. It's the only way you're gonna win the giveaway. But thank you all, and I look forward to talking to y'all next time.